hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to study about the oops concept and we will have a overlook about uh, the classes okay so the basic concepts of classes and object oriented programming language okay so uh, here's the ppt so what are the objects so objects are the real world entities anything you can describe in this world is an object okay so classes on the other hand are not real they are just a concept a class is a classification of certain objects and it is just a description of the properties and behavior of all objects of that classification should possess okay so objects are all the real world entities for example you take a object mobile then you can take the object of animals any whichever animal you may find okay so you may take any object of houses etc okay so every object has attributes and a behavior right for example every object has price then every object has brand for example you can take shoes okay so puma then nike etc and then uh, there is a behavior like the purchase cost then return item etc so those are the behaviors okay so we will study one by one and also the class is the blueprint of the uh, entire object creation okay so this is the entire class it is class name is mobile here and the attributes are the price and brand and behavior is purchase and return item okay so this is the blueprint and which is which is represented as a class okay so next thing is so how to define a class so a class is defined using a class keyword in python and how to create a object to create an object we need a class first we need to create a class then syntax for creating an object is class name that is we need to create a class name and we need to uh, uh, complete it by uh, a circular brackets okay so where class name is the name of the class okay so uh, let's define a class here okay so let's go here jupyter notebook so what we are studying here classes class okay it is oops concept okay so first uh, we will define a class with the name dog that means we are creating a dog class here okay and then uh, we will just pass the class so when you are using the pass statement right it is a null operation that means the it is doing nothing okay so now how to create a, a object here okay so how to create object first we need to write a class name here and then complete it with circular brackets okay so you initiate the class with the name class and then you give the name of the class whichever you are creating okay so this is uh, the object creation okay now if you are creating an object you need to pass it to certain variable okay so we'll pass it to certain variable that is dog1 is equal to dog okay so this is how you pass now you want to give a name to a dog like a uh, dog one is equal to dot name so now name is an attribute here okay so name is equal to suppose say labrador labrador okay now uh, this is how you uh, initiate the attributes like you give the attribute names okay, okay. now uh, you created a, a object here of the class dog and then you are initiating uh, the name of the object as uh, dog one dot name okay now you want to print the name here okay so what you can do is dog one dot name so it will give you the name okay so this is how you can access the uh, name of the class okay or the objects okay so this is one method of creating the objects and the attributes okay so let's see here so attributes of an object how can we create attributes and assign values for these attributes so this can be done using a dot operator so here as you can see we are given a dot operator here dog one dot name right so the syntax for creating attribute and value for this is given below so reference variable so variable i have taken as dog one here and attribute name so attribute name is name itself okay so we are attribute name and then value so whatever value we are giving here that is lab product okay so how we can access the name attributes here so reference variable dot attribute name so that is how we are accessing here right so this is the overall uh, explanation of the uh, attributes here so let's uh, take the same class here okay now okay let's take the same class here okay and now we will create a uh, two or three or at uh, like objects here so dog2 is equal to dog okay now 
okay now uh, we will give dog one dot name and dog one dot price here okay so you will give the price of labrador as uh, so we can take 100 for now okay uh, so though it is like much more than this so let's take that and then we will take dog do is equal to dot name we will take german shepherd okay and then we will take a dog to dot price as uh, say uh, 200 okay uh, so like the price is very just for the sake of example i'm taking this okay so now as you can see we are we have created two objects here okay and uh, we have created two attributes here right now if i want to uh, create a method here okay so in case of functions we need not pass anything uh, still we can invoke them but in case of class if i create a function okay so let's take price here we need to initialize or give a certain uh, variable here or self name we need to give here so as to access this uh, function okay so i will return uh, dog one dot price into 10 okay okay now if i want to access this uh, method here okay how i can access this so i can write the dog one dot uh, the method name okay and this is how we access it so the price of uh, labrador is 100 and i'm giving 10 here okay so 100 into 10 is uh, 1000 okay now uh, suppose okay suppose you want to access the dog 2 price then if i give here dog 2 okay it will still give us 1000 but as you can see the dog 2 price is 200 so it should give 2000 right so that is why uh, every time we need not change here like this okay so we need to give here self okay so self takes the common value whatever uh, like we have initialized for the objects and then it will multiply to whatever uh, value we have given it now if i give dog 2 and total and dog 1 and total it will work so uh, this is where self comes in picture okay uh, so self acts as a common for all the objects you have created and if you want to access singular objects then you can initialize it uh, single handedly but it will take then again you need to change it every time so it will be better if you use self here okay so you can give any name here it is not necessary that you can give self only okay so as you can see it still works but uh, the common practice is we use self okay so that is why make use of self here okay so this is how you can uh, so this now we have created a uh, behavior here okay that means we are accessing total value and we have created a method which behaves in a certain way right so these are the attributes and this is the behavior of the class okay so this is the overall explanation of the class so uh, now we will study about the constructors okay so what are constructors in python so basically uh, let's go to the definition here so when we create an object the special method in it inside the class of the object is invoked automatically okay so this special method is known as constructor okay okay so now uh, let's take this class itself okay uh, let's create again a dog and then we will create a constructor here okay so def so this is how the constructor is made here and whatever you give inside this constructor right for example uh, this is uh, called every time automatically okay now suppose you are creating an object here for example dog1 is equal to dog and dog2 is equal to dog okay now as you can see uh, if you are uh, creating a method we need to call it specifically by its name right here as you can see uh, but in case of constructor it is called automatically okay so as you can see we have created uh, two objects here dog1 and dog2 so it is called twice if i uh, 
give only one object then it is called once okay this is where constructors come in picture okay so these are the constructors okay now let's understand uh, how constructors will help us in overcoming this problem okay so uh, this this is a problem with respect to class when you are initializing every object every time okay and uh, this creates a redundancy here that means uh, overhead is created suppose now there are only two objects here dog1 and dog2 so what if there are like 100 dogs like 100 categories so you you need to create 100 right so it will create lot of uh, overhead here so in order to avoid this overhead we will make use of constructor okay so how uh, this will help is so for example class dog okay sorry and then uh, in it okay this let's take this control c and then if you are creating okay two objects here okay dog one and dog two you can directly pass your name and uh, labrada and price okay thousand and then uh, german right german and then 2000 okay so now as you can see uh, you have uh, directly passed the uh, attributes here that is name and the price but what you need to do is here you need to specify that's it name and price and then you need to uh, use this dot price price now if you want to call this then what you can do is dog one dot name sorry so it directly gives you the name okay so you need not every time you need not specify here uh, the names here okay so in case if you want to update here then uh, what you can do is let's take rot villa okay now it will print rot villa okay so this is how it works you can also change it here itself okay but in case of above method you had to change it in this way okay sorry i like uh, got to know this a, a later time okay so this is how you can update the values also okay so this is where constructor comes in picture okay now in case of uh, as you can see the constructor is uh, called automatically like print hi so it will print twice and the name okay so that is uh, in the sense uh, the constructor is called first and then uh, other things okay as you can see hi is printed first okay and then the name suppose you are giving this at the end then let's see what will happen still the uh, output is same okay so whatever is in constructor it gets printed first like the number of objects the number of times the message gets called and then uh, the objects gets called okay so this is where constructor comes in picture so this is the overall flow of the constructor okay so there is one more thing you need to understand that is method invocation okay so inbound and outbound in invocation so we can invoke the methods using a dot operator as shown in above example now there are two types of method invocations one is inbound so in this method uh, the method is called by object reference and in this method it is called by class reference okay so let's understand this now for example you are creating a method here okay diff then uh, let's create a method here with the name abc then we are giving self here okay then we'll print uh, this is a dog class okay now if you want to call this uh, method uh, okay so what you can do is you can uh, either take object uh, any object and then the method name okay so this is how you call it so this is a dog class right and if you want to call it so this is inbound invocation inbound okay so you are using any object here now you, even if i take the dog to it will still print the uh, same message okay like the same method okay and the other invocation method is you can consider the class name then you can write the method and uh, the object okay so suppose you are giving the object name here so this will print the dog this is the dog one class 
and suppose even if you are giving doc2 here it will still give the message okay so let's uh, comment this and let's try this okay so this is the outbound invocation okay okay so these are the two types you can either use the object uh, name and the class name okay and either you can use the class name and the uh, method okay and the object so these are the types of method invocation so uh, there is a basic difference between a function and a method so what is a function so it is a block of code uh, with a name and it is a part of the object and represents the behavior of the objects so as you can see in method we we have given a parameter self but in case of function uh, you need not have any parameters okay so it can be invoked using the name of the function and passing the parameters so can be in invoked only on an object using a dot parameter so only if the object is present then you can invoke the methods uh, it can be invoked anytime okay so this was about the classes uh, that is the basic concept of class and working with the class and the constructors okay so hope you learned something and understood something uh, so if you like this video hit that subscribe button and until then stay tuned stay connected take care bye bye